All right, so I'm with Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Doing good. Um, you know, just with the whole, all the heavyweights being here, is there anybody that you really like, you know, you kind of see them and you're like, not starstruck, but you know, you get really excited to see them? Oh, actually not. No, I, I'm actually kind of starstruck over everybody. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm around Pinkland Thomas. Always wanted to talk to Tony Tucker. We're from the same state. You know, of course, Vladimir Vitali, they're here, Tyson. But yeah. we all, we all kind of know each other. But now it's like the guys like Bone Cursor Smith. I never talked to him, but I watch him fight growing up. I watch him on YouTube. I'm like, this is Bone Crusher Smith. Larry Holmes. I, I, when I was champion, I talked to Larry Holmes a few times. So it's like, oh, okay, I kind of know you. But the, the the guys that's really kind of forgotten, those guys I really admire also, just as much as a Tyson or a Vander or anybody else. Um, with with boxing kind of you know on up and up right now in the heavyweight division, you know what what what's your take on you know just Deontay Wilder? Growth, a lot of growing. He still he got still a lot of raw tendencies, but still a very good fighter. And in in his case, he's really kind of blessed. He's champion, and he still got a lot of growing to do. So he can get that much better, and he's young. So he got a lot of upside, man. It's a lot of learning process, a lot of going through certain stuff and watch. He'll get better and better and probably be a dominant champion. Yeah. You fought both Klitschko's. You fought Vitaly. You fought uh, Vladimir. Um, so you kind of know what it takes to be with, in the ring with those guys. Is there anybody in the division you see that could beat those guys? I mean, with heavyweights, anything can happen. That one punch factor. But if I go skill for skill, no. Not Vladimir. Right now, I think he's, he's one of the most dominant heavyweights ever. And he's on top of his game still. He still loves being a champion. And you got to figure out how to beat him with his size and his boxing ability. People forget that he's an Olympic gold medalist. You don't become an Olympic gold medalist by just being some rinky dink fighter that has no boxing skills. And he's got that much better since the Olympics. Just grown as a fighter. So, you know, he's going to be a hard guy to beat. Uh, last question. Uh, one thing I've always admired, you, admired about you, like, 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 like I told you earlier, um, you know, you, You've, you've maintained a relationship with Christ, just putting off the Lord. Uh, what does it, what is, what does it take to, you know, balance not just box, boxing and relationship with God? Prayer. A lot of prayer. You know, you go, to, you go to the Lord in prayer, and believe what you say in prayer that God will answer. And one thing that protected me in, in my career, you know, I asked to be a heavyweight first of all, and then heavyweight champion. But God put on my heart to work my hardest to get there. He protected my marriage. I took my wife everywhere I went. So I was good. God really protected me. Got me through a lot of big fights. And that was God. That was God's power, not mine. He protected me. The fights I lost, learn experiences. And I, and I just give praise to him for it. All right. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Thank you.